Ooh. Damn. Definitely should have did it with no lighter. Mm. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about entering our soft girl era. We are healed, we are loving, we are living life, we are enjoying the moment. And I'm just talking about the steps that I took to begin my process into my soft girl era. Disclaimer. I am still learning, I am still growing, I am still working on me. Um, and these steps may not work for you, but I highly encourage you to try them out and see what works for you and see what doesn't work for you and see how much your life improves, your lifestyle improves and the things that happens around you improves. But if you are interested in watching my steps to entering your soft girl era, please keep watching this video do not forget to like it comment and subscribe to the video and yeah just keep watching i am so so happy to be feeling better and feeling more energized and ready to like just be on the camera you guys it has been a very 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 long month of september for me so I really didn't do too much filming just because I had so much going on and I've just been under a lot of stress. I've lost a lot of weight. Okay, so yeah, you guys, it's been a long month for me in September. It's just been a month of craziness, um, just a lot of all over the place. But I definitely wanted to come right here and talk to you guys just about like, I know it's a trend right now to really just like enter into your soft girl era or whatever you want to call it, your feminine side, your soft side, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this is honestly real life, a part of your journey. Like this is definitely going to be a part of your journey, regardless if you call it soft girl era or whatever healing journey or, or what you may call it. But when you enter into this level, you are, tired and fed up and ready for change within your life you are tired of the same old same old things continuous circles that you're going to like you're ready for change in your life and this is when you're really going to properly and correctly like embark on this journey and to your soft girl era so and like I said, you guys, it's been quite a journey for me. Like, I have definitely had my share of ups and downs. And I'm still just, you know, like experiencing them as well. But I will tell you that just these steps that I've been taking to just become the woman that I really want to become. And just the, the way that I want my lifestyle and my family lifestyle to be has really helped me a lot. Um, especially within this like soft girl era healing moment for me, whatever it is that you want to call it. So, why am I already tired, y'all? Why? Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be sharing these tips with you guys because honestly, like, this is where it begins is how you start and how you're going to like, you know. So. <clears throat> The first thing that we're going to talk about is this is the very first step to entering your soft girl era. This step is so important. So important. The main step, the, the basic step is to take care of yourself. And I know that it can be so hard sometimes, especially when you have so much going on, especially if you're a mom, you're a student, you have a lot going on. We're working. The economy is horrible right now. And it can be a lot to just take care and maintain yourself as well. But that's the number one thing that you want to make sure that you prioritize is taking care of yourself. Uh, for me, that looks completely different every single day. I don't do the same things every single day because not everything makes me happy every single day. So you really have to find things that you enjoy doing 
to take care of yourself if that's find a hobby to do find a new hobby if it's you know take yourself on a date take yourself on a date if you need to start meditating or start going to yoga or pilates or you know whatever it is you want to have better habits at the gym going to the gym more you want to make sure like if these make you feel good take care of yourself get your nails done get your toes done get a manicure pedicure hair done brows anything that makes you feel good if you like to go to the beach make sure that you take time out to go to the beach and truly like enjoy yourself at the beach um because when you feel good mentally you're going to feel good overall physically as well and when you feel and vice versa when you feel good physically you're going to feel better mentally you're going to want to be better want to do more your energy you're going to have energy to be able to do those things um so definitely take care of yourself in any way that that looks like and it's gonna be different for everyone and you may not be able to afford to go and get facials and you know all these different kind of massages and this that and third but do what you can afford that you enjoy that's going to be you taking care of yourself because that's honestly the first step in your soft girl era is to take care of yourself because you're going to attract what you're giving off definitely take care of yourself your mental is the very first thing if your mental is not good nothing else can go well with you health wellness all of those things tie in together like you are i don't know how to stress it enough you guys but taking care of yourself is going to be the main thing if you need to put makeup on to feel good put makeup on if you need to put a fly outfit on get a fly outfit on go shopping if you can you know don't obviously don't go living above your means and then putting yourself back in that same cycle but reward yourself because you are you are doing a great job we are all on this earth learning as we go we are all no one's perfect and no one expects you to be perfect either so you have to understand that you're taking everything day by day with a grain of salt just as the rest of us are so definitely make sure that you're taking care of yourself again find something that you like and if you don't know what you like right now this is the best time to really invest in yourself and experience with new things to figure out what it is that you like and things that you find fun or things that you find you know interesting as hobbies or maybe you want to try pottery now and you like pottery and it works for you it calms you it gives you a sense of peace continue to do that it makes you feel good continue to do that you know what i'm saying like Take care of you. That way you can pour into whatever else it is around you and in your life that you need to pour into. Um, and I can show you guys also multiple ways that I take care of me. I'm a mother. I'm young. I'm in school. I'm working. And I have a social life. I have a boyfriend. Everything is it's a lot sometimes. So you always want to make sure that you find that time for you. Because you don't want to get lost in yourself. And oftentimes... That was my problem is like, I'm getting lost in you. I'm getting lost in the people and the things that I'm pouring myself into and I'm forgetting about myself. So, that um, you definitely just wanna make sure that you're taking care of yourself, you guys. So the next thing that you wanna do is write out the woman that you want to be however that woman looks like, whatever that woman looks like, whatever that woman does, whoever that woman is, write that out in complete detail. Write it out. This worked for me in so many different ways, you guys, like so many different ways with dating, with friends, with events, with places that I'm allowing myself to go. Like write out the type of woman that you want to be and do things that that woman would be doing. So like for example for me, things that I wrote when I was doing my um, part of this journey is I wrote that the woman that I wanted to be, she gets up early, she gets up at 5.30 in the morning, she prepares her kids lunch, she makes time for prayers with the family, she makes time for family time before my kid leaves the house, before they come back home she is productive she is organized she is determined she is disciplined she, you know whatever it is that you want to be and the woman that you 
can see for for yourself and your lifestyle that you want to create for your family and your life that is the type of woman that you want to write about that's the type of person you want to describe that's also going to be what you want to aim to be like you feel me you know what i'm saying like if you get invited to go to an event and you know that let's say this is really not a good area to be in it's really never anything positive that goes down when you when these these events happen in you that's when you take those opportunities on moments with the woman that i want to be is she going to be surrounding herself in this type of environment is this something that she's going to partake in no if it's not don't partake in it like when you you have to actively start doing those things to become that woman it does not just happen overnight it's never going to just happen overnight for anybody you have to put in the work that is required for it that can look for you, different in so many ways. For me, it could be different in so many ways. So, and you you want to make sure that you don't compare what what you're doing versus what somebody else is doing. It has nothing to do with your journey and your where you're going. So, keep that in mind. Be delusional. Be crazy. Be obsessed about the woman that you want to be, that you want to become. Be crazy and obsessive about it. Walk as if that is you today. Make decisions as if that is you today because that's the way that you're going to work towards getting to be that woman. It's just by continuing to do the things that that woman would do. So you just want to make sure that you, and you want to be clear about it. Be very, very clear about the type of woman that you're wanting to be. Um... yeah that definitely helped me so much in this journey the next thing that helped me a lot you guys really really evaluating my surroundings my friends the people that i'm close to people that i'm speaking to on a daily energies that i'm intaking it when i'm around them i cannot tell you how many times i have lost friends or just had to distance myself from someone or a situation or anything like that just because it has no positive benefit for me whatsoever when you find yourself in those situations you have to remember to constantly remind yourself constantly remind yourself what is this a lesson for me what is this teaching me what do i need in this moment from this situation and if it's not anything positive you need to walk away if it's something draining walk away if it's something that really is not benefiting you and it's causing you a lot of stress walk away from it to be honest like this is friendships relationships whatever you want to call it ships if it's not serving you any happiness please walk away Please walk away because no once you start surrounding yourself with those things and like-minded individuals there the it's gonna naturally flow towards you what you're putting out into the universe is gonna come towards you so you want to make sure you're surrounding yourself with those individuals who also want success who also want you know to have family goals and are family oriented so you just want to make sure you're surrounding yourself around like-minded individuals the next thing um this is honestly the major thing and i honestly i don't know if if a lot of you guys are religious or not but this right here and you guys should know this by now but honestly i can't stress it enough prayer one thing's i need it okay one thing's for certain you guys prayer works get close to god build your relationship to god talk to god when you need answers and you and you are stuck and you feel alone and you feel like you have no one else god is always there talk to god pray to god prayer works prayer is going to be your best friend I live gloss on, got my hair done. But yeah, so 
praying praying definitely works if you don't have a relationship with god you don't know how to start praying you don't know what to do yet just lift your hands up and call out to god and start talking and he will he will answer your prayers and i cannot stress it enough you guys how real god is how amazing god is please make sure that you are praying and talking to god when you need help and you're seeking help from anybody please go to god okay so the next thing that you want to make sure that you are doing to enter your software era and this is going to be the last and final thing that i'm probably going to talk about today in this video and that is going to be truly truly getting to know yourself and loving yourself self-love and awareness is how you are going to get to your soft girl era it's going to be very hard as you embark on your self-love journey and your healing journey but this is a very very important process for you to go through because for you to understand you you have to understand you before you can allow someone else to understand you so it's definitely super important for you guys to seriously indulge in yourself and pour into yourself during your, he your healing journey. I cannot stress it enough and lean on God in that journey because you are going to be alone. You're going to be alone during this process, but once you come out, once you get to the other side, ladies, soft girl life is amazing because I don't worry because when the Lord has control over everything in my life so I don't need to worry about anything and because too I'm carrying myself a certain way that means that only certain things are going to be coming back to me so you just want to ensure that honestly do all of these things genuinely with a good heart with good intentions and be intentional about your steps and about your process in this journey because that's what's really really going to count and that's when it matters um you guys i did all of these steps and i am truly truly enjoying just this soft girl feminine you know just enjoying me living in the moment living the best of my best my best life and you know just just being present and not only being present being present and happy and being present and striving for something more and just knowing that i have purpose here so I definitely encourage all women to, you know, go ahead and embark in your soft girl era because it's not just about being a passenger princess or it's not just about getting treated well by men. It's about getting treated, treated well all the time. It's about getting treated well for yourself, by yourself. A lot of times we're not treating ourselves well and we don't even realize it, but we're not. We're not treating ourselves good. We're not taking care of our bodies. We're not taking care of our mental health. We're not taking care of our energy. And so it, it shows. And you just want to make sure that you're really taking care of yourself. And watch how your blessings overflow. Um, so yeah, you guys. That is pretty much how I feel as though I have entered into my soft girl era now. You know, you want more. You do better. You want better to be better. So... You have to start taking the steps. You have to start somewhere. But I definitely have enjoyed my journey. And I'm still on this journey. I'm still figuring everything out. And still just like processing everything. And, and just really like the woman that I'm becoming. And I'm enjoying the woman that I'm becoming. Quite frankly. I am loving her. She's, she's amazing. And it has built my confidence it has really made me in tune with what i want in life who i want to be with so yeah but yeah that's it for the video today you guys i did just want to thank you all so much for watching make sure that you do not forget to like comment and subscribe to the video i'm back i'm better i'm refreshed we're ready to be on camera we're ready to just keep the thing going you guys if you guys see back here i have my mannequins and clothing rack and some products here that i'm getting ready for my very first pop-up shop and i am going to be doing like my entrepreneur series as well so i'm going to definitely be taking you guys along the way with me but that's it for today's video um again make sure you guys do like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah.